This is Reuben Lowing. It's a uh, Thursday afternoon here in McAllen, Texas. And I usually only do, I'll do a Facebook Live in the morning. And it's after I do my meditation, my scripture reading and meditation. And then I'll do a leadership talk on YouTube. And I don't usually post that on my Facebook page. Um, I sent it out to my my team with the World Financial Group and some other people that um, I like to keep in the know. I have a lot of respect for them, so that's why uh, my pastor, um, Clark Ortiz, and um, Jason Cisneros, the Bald Avenger, and um, so. I, w I was uh, digging up a speech I did two years ago with the John Maxwell Speakers Club. It was the last virtual John Maxwell Speakers Club uh, that they had here in the Valley. And um, Bridget Krause and Ryan Krause, uh, they were the the hosts of it, right? And in, in my speech, and I was just really uncovering the subconscious mind, learning about how the how the heart energy radiates, you know, up to ninety feet, and when you're in a group that's also got their heart energy stimulated, it, it compounds, and then if, if you have your heart energy going uh, uh, and you go into a place where everybody else is, is kind of flat, you'll actually stimulate their heart energy. And, and that's what I was talking about. And then this other guy gets up and he talk, talks about, and what he was really hitting on was the power of attraction. And he had a desire for a red Ford pickup truck. And he started seeing red Ford pickup trucks everywhere, right? I recently bought a, a, a Jeep Patriot. And I never saw so many Jeeps before in my life until I bought that. I remember when my, my first wife was pregnant for my boys. It's like when she was pregnant, it was like everybody wife was pregnant <laughs> and when we had a baby everybody had a baby okay so with all these things there's like four components here one and which is really powerful is the impact of association I am on that, looking at that recording of that meeting of the John Maxwell Speakers Club and run by Ryan and, and Bridget Krause and the energy and the, posit the positive energy that was coming even from that recording was just incredible. Just incredible. And there's more to it than that, okay? They were all very clear in their in their speeches in their speech in between the speeches Bridget is is very articulate she is phenomenal when she gets up and she starts talking and she doesn't beat she doesn't go doom and gloom right <clears throat> what she does is she just starts talking about things that happen in life you know if, if you if you don't do this you know is this gonna how big your day is gonna be every day <laughs> right and you know the the frustration and the and the the helplessness that that uh that you feel because you're not where you want to be and, and she just kind of does it like that I mean she doesn't have to go and 
and uh, really shouldn't have to project doom and gloom on you, right? <laughs> and and it, it, it's 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 a, it's a I, she masters it, right? But in in, in course in the hosting this class, every club hosts in the the John Maxwell Speakers Club, she's ultra positive. Okay, and so is everybody else. So is everybody else. Okay, so the association is is just vital. It, it, it just can make a huge difference. Then the other thing, of course, is understanding that heart energy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was also talking about um, identifying when somebody's stuck in their subconscious programming. It's, it's, it's just negative. I was thinking this morning, what if... What if Satan was our subconscious self? What if? What if that were the case? What if we're all about pulling ourselves away from that part of us? Okay, how do you do that? Well, you have to... You have to look forward. You have to look. You have to imagine yourself in a better place. Okay, that pulls you out of your subconscious programming. Okay, learning anything new pulls you out of your. your actually, it creates new subconscious programming. I like to explain it like if you get you take a deck of cards. Okay, and you know however it was shuffled before it was handed to you, that's what you got, and and it's our job to to get it back in order you know basically to play a game of solitaire with ourselves and get ourselves back in order right and now you have a your deck of cards is in order okay and and uh, that's kind of what we're called to do and it a lot of it has to do with you know reevaluating our priorities and all of that all of that okay our way of doing things, choosing to do it, doing things a different way than maybe what's comfortable, you know, but maybe doing things that are uncomfortable until they're not uncomfortable. Hard things, you know, talking to people, saying it the right way, the learning new things. Okay, that's all recreating ourselves or our subconscious. Okay, two. So we've got association, we've got um, our subconscious understanding that we are in control of our subconscious programming. Three, all right, understanding that that uh, stimulating that heart energy, okay, can affect others, and other people's heart energy can affect us. And being aware of that, okay, and then. Uh, The, the fourth thing was is when you get and understand that you by uh, focusing on something you make it permanent all right that's huge huge okay it becomes part of you and even though you may go into beta mode in crisis, all right, because that's part of you, your megdala, your subconscious will hunt for it, all right? It'll, it'll, okay. So when you're putting all of that together, okay, that's how you pull yourself out of your funk and push yourself to success. I can't wait to hear back from Ryan Krause. All right, we've been all out.